News 5 at 5 continues now. Now at 5.30, Northeast Ohio is cleaning up and neighbors are helping each other 24 hours after devastating storms. With uprooted trees across our area and homes devastated with damage. I'll tell you what, brother, I've never experienced that before. It could take days, if not weeks, to get things back to normal. Even now, hundreds of thousands remain without power and have poor cell phone service. We're working as hard and quickly as we can uh, while being safe. And from the cleanup to making sure your family stays safe, our team coverage continues right now. And following the storms, plenty of people are deciding what to do with their homes and their families. And here on Cleveland's west side, I'm seeing firsthand just how bad it is. Damon, you too, you were out talking with people today who experienced that storm and are still feeling its effects. Plenty trying to figure out what to do with their homes and families. Yeah, Katie, many are crossing their fingers, hoping that the food inside of their homes, their fridges and freezers can be salvaged here. And if you're lucky, you may be using a generator to help you get by. All of this, though, raising safety concerns. So I spoke with experts today who really want people to keep a few things in mind so that a bad situation doesn't get worse. Pastor Roy Otagan was surprised at how instant Tuesday's storm hit in Lorraine. And all of a sudden, brother, as, as the storm passed by, we looked out and there's this tree, monster tree on the side. And I said, my gosh, what happened here? This giant trunk and its branches spared his home, but not the neighbors on West Erie Avenue. We saw the pictures inside and some of this wood in here is embedded inside. He says no one was home. Storm damage across the city, knocking out power to thousands. How mm -hmm. long were you without power? About four hours. Okay. About four hours, you know. Were you worried about like any of your food going bad or anything like that? <laughs> well, brother, we've had this before. And well, we had to go get some ice and so forth and uh, kind of freeze everything up. Widespread power outages has Lorain County Public Health spreading news about food safety. There's a they call it the danger zone, anything in between 40 degrees and 140. That's where bacteria, micro, microorganisms kind of thrive. Greg Putka telling me generally food in the fridge stays safe up to four hours. The last thing we want is anybody to get any kind of food poisoning or anything like that from rotten food or, you know, spoiled food or anything like that. Food in a freezer that is half full will safely hold frozen foods for at least 24 hours. A full freezer will hold frozen foods for 48 hours. When in doubt, throw it out to avoid illnesses like E. coli and salmonella. So this generator is a lifesaver right now. Well, it saves the food. Paulette hasn't had power at her home in Lorraine since about 3.30 Tuesday afternoon. When went that way, everything went that way. She lost some food in her garage refrigerator. Very expensive. Don't want to go buying more. But hopes the generator that a friend dropped off will salvage food in her main refrigerator inside her home. We'll find out when try to use the food. And while generators can be a big help, they can also be dangerous. Westlake Fire Chief Matt Moran says never run them inside your home or garage. These are all things we've encountered before and they lead to fatalities. I don't know if it's people are worried about disturbing their neighbors or the noise of it or whatever. Generator has to be outside of the home. Exhaust should also be pointed away from the home. The concern, carbon monoxide poisoning. A CO detector should already be installed on each level of your home. Know what your generator is capable of running and don't overload it. Moran also said don't run an extension cord from your neighbor's home or generator to power up your needs. You're just asking for trouble. Well, Lorraine County Public Health told me that they know that throwing away food creates financial struggles, so they're working right now with partner agencies, including food pantries, to help residents who need it. They say the best option here is to call 211. And Westlake's fire chief also stressed here, be aware of downed wires all around town. Don't drive past those barricades or caution tape. They're there for a reason. And be sure to treat all those downed wires as if they are live.